Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about a new pickup truck from Toyota. Before we get into this video, though, as always, if you wanna save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. And if you wanna see more content just like this, then I recommend you subscribe. And also, on a side note, the audio in this video might be a little bit weird. My microphone was going haywire, and so I'm not using a microphone in today's video, so sorry if the audio is weird. But anyways, let's get right into it. Small pickup trucks are back in business. The Hyundai Santa Cruz and Ford Maverick have been extremely successful, and especially the Ford Maverick. It is completely sold out, and Toyota is taking note, and they definitely want to dive into this segment. Toyota happens to be the United States' largest truck maker when it comes to the mid-size truck segment. The Toyota Tacoma does amazingly well, and so Toyota knows this, and Toyota goes, okay, well, there's another market that's starting to grow and we have a really good chance of dominating that market and so we are going to dive right in. And so that's where Toyota's newest pickup truck is going to live its life. It's going to be a competitor to the Ford Maverick and the Hyundai Santa Cruz. Now let's dive into the specs with this new pickup truck from Toyota. First off, there are a lot of people that are thinking that this might end up being body on frame and it'll be the only body on frame pickup truck in this segment but that's very unlikely. So first off, Toyota does have a platform they could use. They could basically use the platform that's gonna underpin the new Tacoma and shrink it down and make it work for a small pickup truck. But none of the pickup trucks in this segment are body and frame. The Hyundai Santa Cruz and the Ford Maverick are both unibody, and so Toyota is most likely going to follow suit. They are very conservative, and you know they have the mentality of, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So unibody is gonna be the route to go, and the platform they could use is just the RAV4 platform. That makes complete sense because with the Hyundai Santa Cruz, it's on the same platform as the Hyundai Tucson, and so all they have to basically do is just take the RAV4 platform and you know maybe stretch it out a little bit to make it work for a pickup truck, throw a truck bed on it, and then they are good to go. And that would actually make them extremely competitive within the segment because then they could also share powertrains from the RAV4. The RAV4 currently has a naturally aspirated four-cylinder powertrain, and then it also has some hybrid powertrains as well. You've got the standard hybrid powertrain, which is decent. And again, that powertrain would be pretty competitive with the Maverick um, because, you know, it's right around that like 200 horsepower range and gets decent fuel economy. But then they also have the Prime, which is a plug-in hybrid, which has over 300 horsepower. And that would be really strong within the segment because not only would it be really good from a power perspective, but then having a plug-in hybrid within this unibody truck segment would just decimate everyone. Well, at least until Ford releases the plug-in hybrid version of the Maverick, which they are actually working on, and I already made a video talking about that. But regardless, this is the most logical path for Toyota to take, is basically to re-engineer a RAV4 to have a pickup truck bed and the powertrains could carry over. Now, something that I think would actually also work out really well is if Toyota took their new turbocharged 2.4 liter four cylinder and put it in this small pickup truck. With that powertrain, it produces you know high 200s with the horsepower and then low 300s with the torque, which would be very competitive with the turbocharged version of the Maverick uh, that you can get with all wheel drive. And then it would also be very competitive with the turbocharged version of the Santa Cruz. And I think that a lot of people would end up picking the Toyota over either of those options because first off, the turbocharged version of the Santa Cruz uses a dual clutch automatic transmission, whereas Toyota would just use a good old fashioned eight speed automatic torque converter. And then the Maverick, right? It's solid. It has an eight speed automatic transmission, good power figures, but Toyota has a better reputation for reliability than Ford. And so, yeah, I think that they would just get they'd get a little bit more market pull because people would just want that Toyota badge because of what it's associated with. Uh, now, aside from that, other specs on it, I mean, nothing too exciting, right? It would just have, you know, the normal Toyota interior. So if you've been in a modern RAV4, then they would just carry that interior over into this new pickup truck. The infotainment system, the gauge cluster, all of that would just carry over into this pickup truck. They might tweak some things uh, within the interior to kind of make it feel a little bit more special to this model. But again, Toyota is very conservative with what they do. And so if you look at their cars, they're all pretty similar when it comes to their interiors and their options and all that. And so so 
most of that stuff would just be a straight carryover. And that obviously would lower production costs with this new pickup truck, uh, which would then in turn make it so that it'd be more affordable for those of you purchasing it. And it would also just make it so that the whole Toyota lineup was just, you know, streamlined like it is today where you can get into the most expensive Toyota and you can get into the cheapest Toyota. And, you know, there are some key differences, but, you know, a lot of stuff carries over and a lot of it's similar. Now, when it comes to pricing with this new small pickup truck, Toyota definitely wants to aim uh, right at Ford and compete as much as they possibly can. So they're aiming at like a sub $20,000 starting price and fully loaded, it's probably going to get into the $40,000 range similar to the Santa Cruz and the Maverick. And so what the lineup would look like is very similar to what Ford has. So you basically would have the uh, a hybrid model as standard and you know right around 200 horsepower just like the Maverick and that's uh, what would give you you know that base uh, MSRP around the $20,000 range but what i think that Toyota is going to do that Ford isn't doing in this range is probably give people all wheel drive i think there's a pretty strong chance for that um, because you know on the RAV4 if you got the hybrid you got all wheel drive and so there's a really strong chance that it'll be standard with all wheel drive or you know maybe they'll just do a naturally aspirated two uh, you know four cylinder with all wheel drive as the base thing. But I, I think that all wheel drive is gonna be something that they're gonna make standard to make it so they stand out within the segment. And then the next powertrain above that right would be you know the plug-in hybrid. And then like I said, potentially that turbocharged 2.4 liter four cylinder. And for either of those powertrains, you're probably looking somewhere in the $40,000 range from a pricing perspective. And so you know obviously there are gonna be packages in between that $20,000 and $40,000 range. And so most of the trucks you're probably gonna see out and about in the world are are going to be somewhere in that $30,000 price range with what people are getting with equipment and the powertrain that they're optioning out. Now, in terms of my thoughts on this new small pickup truck from Toyota, I think it's an amazing idea because again, the Maverick and the Santa Cruz are sold out. And so it shows there's a lot of demand for affordable utility type vehicles. Not everyone wants to spend $50,000, $60,000 on a utility vehicle. And that's what a lot of these big pickup trucks cost nowadays. And a lot of mid-sized pickup trucks do as well. And so I think this is a great move by Toyota. And frankly, it'll sell out as well. And so at least, you know, some people will have the opportunity to purchase this. Whereas right now it's, again, it's difficult to get a Maverick or Santa Cruz. And then obviously competition is always good because this means that the Maverick will be forced to improve and also the Santa Cruz as well. I think that, you know, with the Maverick, more powertrain options would be great. And then with the Santa Cruz, same thing. And then also maybe this will push Hyundai to make it so the Santa Cruz has a slightly longer, more uh, usable mini truck bed compared to what it has now. Because especially when you compare it to the Maverick, the Maverick is just so much more practical compared to the Santa Cruz. But again, this is a video about Toyota's new pickup truck. So as long as they make sure that this truck, again, is affordable, and as long as they make sure that it can still, you know, do truck stuff, so has a decent payload, and you know, it doesn't have to have a massive towing capacity because the Maverick in base format tows 2,000 pounds and you can get a max tow package that'll upgrade it to 4,000 pounds. So as long as it's, you know, competitive within those ranges, then yeah, I think it's gonna be great. And if they do make it so that, you know, all wheel drive is standard on this, I think that that would also be something to really differentiate them within the segment. Because again, you can get a front wheel drive Santa Cruz and you can get a front wheel drive Maverick. And so if it's like, yep, the Toyota is the same price, but it comes standard with all wheel drive, I think people would just go bananas over that. It doesn't matter what's under the hood, frankly, as long as it has uh, all wheel drive. And so, yeah, I want you guys to let me know what you think about this new small pickup truck from Toyota and if you would purchase this or if it's just not exactly your cup of tea. Because I can understand it's weird, you know, with, you know, a, a unibody vehicle being called a pickup truck. But I can tell you as someone who has thoroughly tested the new Santa Cruz and the Maverick because I had both of them uh, sent out to me. I think the Maverick was at the beginning of this year and the Santa Cruz was uh, in the middle of last year. But either way, I, I drove both of them for a week. And honestly, they're both great vehicles because like it, you get the best of both worlds. Like it handles and drives like a regular modern crossover. And so you don't get the crazy body roll, you get in a body and frame vehicle. And so it like drives really well, it's really comfortable, but then you get the truck bed and so you can throw stuff up in the bed and it's just, it's a really uh, cool setup. But with that being said, that's gonna sum things up. Again, if you wanna see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe. And if you guys want me to dive into certain vehicles, then just recommend those in the comment section down below. And then I can you know, do my research and make a video on that. Anyways, I'll see ya.